them out. Oh, that's, that's a nice fish. It's a good smallie. Who says you can't catch fish in the dead of summer? on Northern Lakes. I'm Blaine Mangle for Backwoods Angler TV. Today we are out on a Northern New York State Lake. Early morning, July, hot. We're out here low light targets. Small mouth and large mouth on top water. Stick around. Backwoods Angler TV, your freshwater fishing authority for the Northeastern United States. Northern New York State, just hours from the big city, home to dozens of lakes that are wonderful bass fisheries. In the heat of summer, one of my favorite techniques for catching fish is on topwater lures. Today, we'll show you how to get bass to eat on top all day long. One of the keys to work in any kind of a Popping top water lure is the pause. 70% of all my strikes will come at least five seconds after a pop or a chug. You chug the bait, it's got the, the, if they have rattles in them, you get them a couple of good good pops and then let it sit. Those bass will come up underneath those baits and they'll sit and stare at them. And sometimes they'll stare at them for several yards before they decide, up, oh, it's getting away, I'm gonna grab it. So don't move them too quickly. Ah, oh, Sam, come on. Got it. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool, baby. When I'm top water fishing, it's average size green fish. I'm gonna try to avoid setting the hook on sight. When that fish pulls that bait down, in my mind, I mentally say thousand one and then just kind of reel into the fish in a nice soft up sweep. I have too many times set the hook on a topwater bass and the treble hooks are flying objects coming back at the boat. I, when I teach people how to topwater fish, I just try to tell them, don't get too excited. Now, that's just ridiculous because <laughs> it's exciting. It's the most exciting way to catch bass. But you got to try and really condition yourself to set the hook on the feel, on the weight of the fish. That fish swirled under the bait. I saw the fish swirl under the bait, but he didn't take the lure. So I just stopped the lure, popped it once or twice, and let it sit. And he swirled under it again and grabbed it. And then, see, then that's when my, my patience <laughs> <laughs> really has to come into effect because I saw the, th the, the whole thing happen I saw, I, and I didn't pull the lure away from the fish. I let the lure sit there and I waited until I felt the weight of the bass. If I would have set the hook on the first swirl or the first strike, I would have not have had that fish. It looks like we got some smallmouth looking up. What I mean by looking up, that means their, their focus is up through the water column. When you have sun, 9, 30, 10 o'clock on these lakes, if it's a sunny day, their focus is going to be down. And the cool thing about some of these lakes where they have large mouth and small mouth, those, those, bass, will, those bass will find grass and wood cover when that light comes up. And the smallies will go right into the grass too, which is really cool. It's cool. So don't just assume that's a large mouth. That's that a when smallie. you're in the grass, you're going to catch large mouth. That's a good smallie. You can get some good small it's mouth as well in grass. He missed it. Mm, that was a small one. He missed it again. 
He's still under it. He got it that time. That was pretty cool. <laughs> you don't even mind. <laughs> 15 inch small mouth comes off like that. You don't mind. That was cool. Three times he came up and whacked that thing. That was a cool jump, man. That fish had some ups, I'm gonna tell you. Coming up on Backwoods Angler TV. Can we get three on three casts? We can. We can. We can. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> More top water action when we come back. Don't go away. Don't miss this. <laughs>
when you see a little jut come out, I always want to cast across it because there's usually some sort of an outcropping of rock. Or you go inside these little indents and you fish it. That fish was way up in on the bank. find a another calm grassy point don't go away we'll be right back came right back for it. For five years now, the folks at Sportsman's Table have been dedicated to helping families make the most of their outdoor harvest. Active outdoorsmen will love the quality and selection found at sportsmanstable.com. Products include butchering supplies, seasonings and marinades, wildlife pottery, and rustic table decor. Whether for you or a unique gift for a family member or friend, Sportsman's Table has a lot to offer dinner tables all over America. www.sportsmanstable.com This portion of Backwoods Angler TV is brought to you by www.sportsmanstable.com Sportsman's Table, complementing your sporting lifestyle. Welcome back to New York State Big Lake Bass Fishing. Most people think topwater fishing is for the early morning or the late evening when the light's low. Today we'll show you that you can catch bass on topwater in high light situations. And right there is proof not to put the topwater lure away when the sun gets too high. I switched to soft plastic and spinner baits and I didn't get bit. I came over here to this calm spot off of a grass bed and promptly drilled that thing. Amazing. We got a light breeze blowing, so I got, I got off this point. I'd fished this point earlier this morning. It was shaded, it was dead calm, and I had four or five blow-ups on top. We went and did some mid-lake stuff and got nothing. I came back here to this calm water and thought, you know what, I can't get anything underneath. Maybe we'll get them to look up, and that fish hammered that top water lure. What I'm targeting, I'm in an eight to 10 foot zone out off these points. Points are key this time of the year. And I'm targeting the points that have some rock outcroppings, but they have a, a submerged layer of grass in tight. It looks like these largemouth are right off the edges of this grass. That was cool. I don't know if you enjoyed it, but I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Creamed it, didn't it? The size of that bass right there, baby. That was one of the most intense top water strikes I ever had in the middle of the day. I'm popping a top water lure through these thick weeds. <sighs> that fish scared me. Top water fish. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at that! Woo! <laughs> Middle of the day. My cameraman just said, the lake just emptied. Everybody went in. I didn't. Annihilated it. <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. I popped it, paused it, and she crushed it. I love you. I 
Listen. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing. Everybody went in. It's 11.30 in the morning. They're like, okay, we'll wait till five o'clock till the fish start eating again. And I'm out here catching fish on top water. The reason why is because I'm not afraid to get into this vegetation. They're in the vegetation and they will be on a sunny day. And the more I can get that thing to gurgle and blurp, the better today. I don't know if that fish followed that bait in or if it was in this deeper stuff. This is six feet deep here. And there's a lot of hydrilla. Let's go back and revisit that last fish. I'd like to make a very important point about topwater fishing. Never, ever give up on your lure until it's back to the boat. As you can see on this cast, I worked my lure completely back to the boat. I didn't give up on my lure, but my cameraman did. And this fish struck the lure two thirds of the way back to the boat a second after he turned the camera off. Oh. The size of that bass right there, so don't baby. ever give up on that retrieve because you just never know when the trophy <coughs> of the day is going to strike. You didn't get that strike. No. Oh my. I, I felt bad. That's why you don't give up. Stay tuned for more top water action on Backwoods Angler that TV. Nasty. Do you own an outboard jet motor? Backwoods Angler TV's new DVD, 30 Minute PM Outboard Jet Preventative Maintenance, is sure to save you money from repairs and it will keep you on the water and on the fish. River fish live in nasty places. The River Pro 186 Low Pro is the ultimate shallow water fishing machine. Agile, aggressive, and armed to the teeth with all the angling ammo you'll ever need. With the Mercury Sport Jet, you'll fly over just inches of water, places no ordinary boat could go. River Pro, hard-bellied, all-welded, custom-built jet boats for the serious river fishermen like you. When it comes to fishing, there's a fine line between failure and success. There's a fine line between winning and losing. There's a fine line between the trophy and just another fish story. That line is Gamma. Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. This portion of Backwoods Angler TV is brought to you by Gamma, molecularly altered fishing line. Today on Backwoods Angler TV, we're topwater fishing in the July heat. As the sun goes down, the fishing takes off. Find the spots where you had success earlier in the day, and if the bait fish are there, hang on. On the top water, where they're coming up under the bait. <laughs> you little dog, you. I'll tell you what else is a key, man. Knowing where your bait fish pods are at this time of the day is just so important. These fish are gonna come in for a half hour sometimes, if you're lucky an hour, and they are gonna feed on bait. When that light comes down, that's what they're doing right here. Oh, good night. What great, great way to end the day. Oh, good, good night, Irene. Get out of the grass, get out of the grass, get out of the grass. Here we go. No! I'll tell you what the key is right now. I found a bait fish pod and I matched it with that lure. That lure looks just like what they're eating. It's a smelt looking style bait. What a great fish, what a great fish. See that fish has an injury on the side of his mouth. That's healed over, that is an awesome fish. Oh man, God love you. Good night, baby, good night.
very important. When I'm fishing a crankbait, even a jerkbait or a topwater lure, I want to use more of a sweeping hook set because if I, and I don't use braid, I have my, my gamma copolymer on here. It's low stretch, but it has a little bit of stretch. That helps drive those hooks into that fish's mouth. And if I'm using a braided line and a heavy, you know, a fast, heavy rod, I'm not going to penetrate that mouth. I've spent so many days with the, with the wrong rod, whether I'm fishing for, for big brown that trout on the, you know, on the west right branch here. of the Delaware River or if I'm fishing for smallmouth or largemouth bass on any of the area lakes. Fish, right? yes, if I don't have the right oh. rod, I'm missing a lot of fish with treble hooks because I'm pulling the lure away before the fish has it in its mouth. I'm telling you right now, something big is going to rile this whole area up here in the next couple of minutes. <laughs> We're not done yet. Salad with your fish. You got it. <laughs> A little smally. <laughs> How about it? Can we get three on three casts with the backdrop of that sunset? We can. We can. We can. We can. <laughs> he threw the top. He threw the top water lure. It's ten feet. He got it. Oh, was that cool or was that cool? This is a big fish. Oh, that was so cool. I'm, I'm just, I can't tell you how cool that was. You have to get out here and you have to do it yourself because that was cool. Oh, no, that's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Sweetness right there. <laughs> Put that on a backdrop, huh? <laughs> wow. Thanks for joining me today on Backwoods Angler TV. Visit BackwoodsAnglerTV.com for more tips, good fishing.